Today, we are going to learn how to make makjeok. Makjeok is Dwinjang pork skewers. Dwinjang is everybody knows bean paste, fermented soybean paste. Many people consider this dish as the origin of bulgogi because bulgogi used marinade. And thousand years ago, my ancestors, they used the Twinjang marinade. At the time, there was no hot pepper paste, such thing. And actually, this non-spicy version, so I think everybody will love this. So let's start. It's garlic, four cloves garlic, and this is ginger. Just smash. You like my knife? This is a Korean knife. And ginger. And onion. Three quarter cup onion. And then we are going to add dwinjang, two tablespoon. This is a mirin. Mirin is cooking wine. But if you don't have, just use water. So one tablespoon. Mullet, salad, oligodang, rice syrup. And then I'm going to use the same amount, two tablespoons. And sesame oil, two teaspoons. Ground black pepper, half a teaspoon. Because of sesame oil, really smells good. So consistency is like this. Okay. And then this is pork. Thin slice. This is a pork shoulder part. But you can use tenderloin. Cut thinly, just like a bulgogi. And because it should be really lot of surface for the marinade. Okay, so we cut all one pound pork. I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and then let's cook. We need some vegetable. So this is the Asian chives, buchu. It's very simple. Just the salt and sesame oil, we just mix this and then eat together as a like a side dish. This stem part is all disconnected. We have to pleat it this way. Okay, round three inch long. Cut it this way. Okay, and then add this here. Salt. Half a teaspoon and sesame oil around one teaspoon and mix. That's it. This is a side dish for the our mekje. Isn't that simple? Originally, mekje was cooked over open fire, uh, but inside my house, I'm just going to grill this. After this, I'm going to give you a good tip to how to make it more delicious. I'm going to skewer my pork. So we made all four skewers, large size, and then I'm going to grill this. My grill is heated. A little, a few drops vegetable oil. And swirl this to spread this oil. And then, time to put it here. I will just add this here. 
Wow, smells so good. And then turn down the heat to medium. So I don't want to burn this. Couple of minutes over medium heat. Let's flip it over. Nice, beautiful. Juicy. Around five minutes I cooked over medium heat and I'm going to turn over again. Delicious looking. We can serve this with this salad, just, uh, just like this. Uh, but I told you I will give you one good tip how to make it more delicious. I got this in Korean grocery store, really cheap, broiler. Really awesome. Oh my God, smells so good. Okay. We need a direct flame. So we need a little bit like a scotch. If you really press this, the juice is going to drip down. And then flip it over. Okay. So, our makchak done, right? Like my ancestors, I can imagine that how they were excited. We made four large skewers. How many do you think we can serve? I think for two people, two servings. Each person can eat two large skewers. So let's add salad here. I have my kimchi and eggplant, beans. This is my lunch. This buchu salad and together delicious. Mm. This doenjang sauce makes it really special. Sweet, salty. It doesn't taste you know, greasy at all. Today we made makja doenjang pork skewers. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.